Hello folks, uh, I'm back in the workshop with the uh, Falcon Prairie. Uh, I did some uh, chronograph testing on it uh, yesterday and found that uh, it was performing around anywhere between nine and a half and ten and a half foot pounds, uh, which I didn't think was what it could be, what it should be. Uh, uh, but the last time I tested it was with uh, basically Magnums, and that was about a year ago, and they was doing okay through it. Uh, I, I put some uh, day state pellets through it, the heavies, at 10.3 grains, and the best they could achieve was a 10.5 foot pounds. So uh, I think uh, I'll get out of the way. Yeah, I think the uh, the power's either dropped off or it don't like the uh, oh for God's sake. <laughs> oh for fuck's sake. Charlo <clears throat> I'll carry on. Yeah, I I think the uh, the rifle <coughs> has probably lost a bit of power over that year. Uh, as I was saying, the, uh, the Bisley Magnums uh, was coming close to the uh, limit, but uh, just point two of a grain lighter with the uh, day state heaviest at 10.3 grains, the best it could achieve was 10 and a half foot pounds. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, put uh, some busy magnums back through it and see if they're still achieving what they were a year ago. If not, I'm going to retune the rifle. It's basically wind the spring up just a bit. Uh, so I'll show you some of the results I got from the two pellets I was using uh, yesterday. Okay, so the first pellets I used were the Kaisers and they weighed uh, 8.64 grains. Uh, I fired four magazines of eight rounds, equate to 32 shots, uh, and that was from a 180 bar fill. You can fill the rifle to 200 bar, but I decided to do it from 180. Uh, so, from the results I've got, the average was uh, 7.729.8 feet per second or 10.22 foot pounds uh, with a height of uh, 740 feet per second or 10.5 foot pounds and a low of 721 feet per second or 9.97 foot pounds giving an extreme spread of 19 feet per second and a standard deviation of 4.3 going on to the avian pellets which was the day state uh, range master uh, heavies, uh, they weighed uh, 10.3 grains. Uh, <clears throat> the velocity is a bit slow but the extra weight makes up for that. Uh, so the average speed of that was 680.96 feet per second or 10.6 foot pounds with a high of uh, 691 feet per second or 10.92 foot pounds and a low of 671 feet per second or 10.3 foot pounds, that was an extreme spread of 20 feet per second and a 5.2 feet per second standard deviation. Uh, more weight equals more power in this case, not in all cases, you sometimes find that if a pellet fits the barrel just right, a lighter pellet can outdo an heavier pellet for the power, but in most cases the, uh, the heavier weight means you'll get more power from it. Uh, so what I'm going to do, if the busy magnums aren't performing either, I'm going to tune up probably another half a foot pound, so I'm getting around, uh, what, 11, 11 and a half foot pounds from it. Uh, so there we go. Uh, that'll be my next test. So I've actually got two pellets. I've got the uh, the busy magnums, at ten, about 10, 10 and a half grains I think and I've also got uh, the uh, <coughs> the Falcon accuracy course uh, 
Uh, and I think they weigh seven point. My eyesight's not good. I can get it in the microscope. Uh, still can't see it with the light. I think it's seven point three grains. I think on the falcons. <coughs> Busy magnums. I'm sure they're about ten and a half grains. But. Uh, I'll do the same thing on the, on the four magazines uh, with each and see what they achieve with it uh, and then based on that I'll go from there if the busy magazines are still performing like they were it means I can't make any changes to it so if it was put through uh, a test by the police <coughs> uh, they'd probably use a busy magnum so uh, you must be aware of that when you uh, when you tune your rifle and always create a graphic when you make changes to it but basically uh, that's where we are at the moment so the next thing will be to test some pellets through okay so uh, <coughs> I've uh, topped the rifle up to 180 bar where we were yesterday and what I'm going to do now is uh, fire the shots off through the chrono See what we get. Now these are the basic magnums. Is the last one here yeah, it is so put some more uh, let's show you that okay to make it fair I top the rifle back up to 180 bar so uh, <clears throat> I'll go through the test again and we'll see what the Falcon Accuracy Plus are doing. Now I've got a chart up here, <coughs> uh, so 11 foot pounds is 822 feet per second, 11 9 8 foot pounds is 668 feet per second, so anywhere between those two, but somehow I can't imagine it getting either there. So. Uh, We'll see what the first result's going to be. So we go, shot one, seven, seven, eight. So that's nowhere near 11 foot pounds, is it? Looking at that, uh, I think it's about 42 feet. Well, probably yeah, it's over 40 feet per second. 42 feet per second slower than 11 foot pounds, so it's probably around 10 if we're lucky. So I don't need to go any further than that. I know that it's well under 11 foot pounds. So what I'm going to do now, I'll strip the rifle down, uh, turn the hammer spring up a bit and come back to it. So uh, that is the next job. 